Hey guys, uh, today we're going to go through a pretty quick video um, just kind of showcasing my latest work on a, a housing project of mine. It's the Balance House. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and equip it and head on over. Um, so the first thing you're going to be greeted by when you come in is A, some music, because uh, I added music to this project. <laughs> um, it's the Mirage City theme, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but, so you're gonna come in. Um, this part is still very, very much a work in progress. Uh, I did run out of room, as you can see down here. I've only got three spaces left. Um, but when you come in, <laughs> sorry, hiccup. Uh, when you come in, there will be a caravan set up here with like a, a little campsite. Um, and things will just generally not look too good like this little village is probably going to be on fire um this actually won't be there and this won't be there um and i think down there probably will be closed off as well and look a little bit dark and dirty um but over here uh you'll see i've blocked off all the water um eventually through a quest line similar to the one in my watchtower house in the first video i made um, there'll actually be a quest line to kind of restore this to what you see here and a bit more, um, because right now I don't have enough space, um, and I actually don't have enough to get another brick back potion, unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, so this will all look a bit better in the future. It'll actually have a quest line, which will be nice. Um, and you'll essentially just be restoring this to a bit better than what you see right now. Um, so yeah, that's the, the big part. Um, this will eventually get unblocked, uh, to put out a fire. I don't know if I had said that previously, but yeah, it, that's, that's just, that took a while, um, to kind of set up. That's mostly, see, sand, dirt piles, and I think some Aztecan rocks. Yeah, that kind of grow as you go um but yeah this will be actually blocked off from view uh for the most part um around here i think i want to block it off and then let someone in after they've completed the the dialogue bit there um i think at the very end of this area you'll actually come up here uh that button won't be there that's probably going to be replaced with a uh a magic player detector so you can just kind of seamlessly come up the ladder and whatnot. Um, and yeah, so you'll you'll get up here, you'll talk to a witch who's gonna give you uh, a spell or cast a spell or something that's gonna unblock that area over there, which is the more important uh, part of the map, which I'm very excited to show y'all. Uh, this took quite a while to do, but let's go ahead and open this up i have the button here for now um again a witch will cast a spell over at that uh side cave area back there um, and actually open this up for you but here we go so yeah this is all uh made by me it's very kind of i think the most i've done ever in terms of like creating my own terrain and stuff uh, I do like how it turned out a lot. I think it looked pretty cool. Um, the sand in here, by the way, this is supposed to be like the hostile desert area. Um, the sand coming through and all the wind that you hear is from a sandstorm spell going on below us. Um, and I just use the particles from that because they go a lot further over the actual spell. Um, than you would think. So I've just used those underground to kind of create this dusty, like, sand effect and whatnot. Um, so when you enter here, uh, your first kind of instinct should be to come to this gate, right? And this will actually have, uh, this will be blocked off to an extent, and you'll have to talk to the guards to try to get you to let them in, or get them to let you in, right? And that will be by going back into here, like back to the main area, probably fetching something and bringing it back to them. Uh, and then they'll let you in. And then after that, you get a nice calming kind of village marketplace. Um, this is 
probably exactly what it'll look like. I don't think I'm going to add much more to it, but you got your, your food cellar over here. Uh, you have a small village for these, these three NPCs to live in. Uh, you've got, you know, your jewel crafter guy back here. Um, kind of come over here and this will be the main guy you're going to talk to, right? And he will, um, essentially ask you to go get a golden chest for his collection, right? And he's a little too scared to do it and we'll see why here in a second. Um, but yeah, so this is the, the desert marketplace. I like how this turned out a lot personally, um, if I was to change anything, it would probably be adding a couple more of these, but I don't really have the space for that right now, unfortunately, and I don't know how to completely make that look too good. Um, but yeah, so you'll you'll come out. Um, there'll be kind of a, a cutscene going through this area right here after you've asked, asked him what he wants. Um, and so you're like, oh gosh, what could be back here? There's a skull, you know, she's got the here there be monsters sign, some more bones. Um, but this is the coolest part of the house in my opinion. Uh, I set this up with quite a lot of trial and error. Uh, it took a while, um, but I'll just let it play out and show y'all what happens. Let's hear the music changes. And then, uh oh, we gotta run. Oh gosh. Um. So yeah. So this is essentially what happens. This guy just chases you, um, out. If you get hit by him anywhere along the way, uh, I've made some player detectors that will come up, and eventually they'll teleport you to his stomach. But right now they just kind of teleport you back to the entrance. Um, but then after that's over, you'll hear, yeah, so the music went back to normal. So this is essentially what I've done. That He's just like a guardian of the chest sort of thing. Um, I don't know if I want this to reset after players have survived it. I kind of don't think so, because, I mean, he's all the way back there in the sand at this point, so it doesn't make too much sense. But uh, you can come back here, collect the chest... Um, and then bring it back to him, and that'll be, I think, basically the end of the, um, the adventure. I might add, like, an extra section where you go into the castle and talk to, like, royalty or whatever, um, but I don't know. Uh, something else cool about this area, no, you, this is behind the scenes, uh, this is what the house looks like without any castle magic. So these all grow to their size. Um, I can't really tell you the exact spacing. I just kind of eyeballed it, unfortunately. Um, but if I let this grow back up to normal size again. Oh yeah, you'll see the, the sandstorm start to happen again. Um, cooler thing about this is that... Okay, when, when this guy touches you, you'll actually get sent to his stomach instead. And you'll have to try to escape... Um, but if we just let him touch us again, right, we get eaten, but if we go back, uh, you'll notice that all of these areas where he was originally will go back down. Um, so it's actually safe to go around him, uh, when you can and just come collect this. You just don't want to get caught. Uh, in in his mouth basically <laughs> which I feel like it's kind of common sense but you know thought I'd mention it um but yeah so that is the house I hope you guys enjoyed it um and I will see you in the next one where hopefully I'll have the watchtower uh finished but until then uh hope you guys have a good rest of your day I might do a couple more Castle Magic tutorials now that I'm thinking about it, um, but that'll just come later. Anyways, uh, let me know what y'all thought in the comments, and I'll talk to you later. Bye!